great morning, everyone. Well, here comes the silver mouse. Did you have your breakfast? Do you feel better, silver mouse? <laughs> he needs to be groomed so bad. Look at this. <laughs> okay, go over with your brother. <clears throat> go with your brother from another mother. <laughs> well, we're up. I tell you, my little fireplace definitely was a great purchase. I didn't have the highs and the lows all night. Um, on the low setting, it was down to um, the low 40, 40, 41. And then this morning it went down like 39 and I got up for a few minutes and just turned on the uh, higher thing and it worked great. It's back down to the low again now that we're up and moving around and everything. Took the boys out, 39 degrees out there this morning. Took them out, going up. Oh, here comes the silver mouse. He likes to be up high. Like a cat. <laughs> Kitty dog, puppy cat. <laughs> I swear he was a cat in his last life. He says, I still have my kitty tendencies to so leave me alone. If I had a cat tower, he'd probably try to climb it. Anyway, <laughs> let's look and see what we have this morning. Have a nice, nice reading to come out this morning. See what the universe is telling us. Well, this morning when we were out there, we saw a little rabbit. We saw, yes, there was a little rabbit going across out here. He was so cute, little bunny guy. So it's to, this morning is rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. We're almost to Christmas. Is it this, like, is this Christmas Eve this, today? What's the date? You know, I lose track of the days. I'm out here, just me and the boys, you know. So, anyway, it's it's a lucky time. A lucky time for what? To gather some strength. Okay. It's a lucky time to get some strength. So, how are we going to get some strength? during this time and this season is to become like the eagle to see from a higher perspective <clears throat> okay so if you are above something in the air you see it totally differently than if you are down on the ground if you're on the ground then you're in the mix of things you know, everything so, seems so large and, you know, blocking your view. You can't see everything. When you are like an eagle and you're high, you're above everything, everything looks so much more minuscule. Not the big problem and the big headache that you had when you were on the ground trying to navigate. So we're going to talk about seeing from a higher perspective. Okay. Because now is a time to gain strength. It's a lucky time. Why? Because it is a time where you have an opportunity. Okay. It's a time for an opportunity. And what is the opportunity that we have today? An opportunity to show some compassion. Okay. And this is, you know, every day is a good day to do compassion, okay? Is there someone out there that you could show some compassion to? It could be a family member you're on the outs with. It could be a stranger on the street. It could be somebody that, uh, you know, you've just been loggerheads with. Can you be the bigger person, see it from a higher perspective, you know, and show a little forgiveness, a little compassion? Okay. Everybody 
is driven by their past experiences. Okay. And one thing you you learn, you know, when you've had uh, you come out of an abusive situation, okay, that um, <clears throat> doesn't mean you stay in an abusive situation. But if you've had an abusive family life, something like that, understand that your parents or your brothers or your sisters, whoever it is, is driven by their past experiences, which they haven't obviously gotten a handle on, okay, and so you develop compassion, you know, and let things go, okay, be the bigger person, see that maybe somebody that you run across during the day is very curt, you don't know what's going on in their life, okay, so again, be the bigger person, see from a higher perspective, have a little compassion. Maybe somebody's having a really, really bad day. You don't know whether they've got a sick child, whether, whether they're being abused. You don't know if they're going hungry. You don't know what always their situation is, okay? So take the time to stop and think Think about that. Reflect on that from a higher position. You know, people are, and the ones that are, um, <clears throat> you know, you have ones that are out there being trolls. Okay, let's take a troll, for example. They've got such low self-esteem that they have to be a troll. Okay. Doesn't mean that being a troll is okay, but it's right. But again, you know, and it doesn't mean that you have to um, say you're a troll, you're wonderful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but again, uh, just develop a little understanding. It doesn't mean you have to enable, enable. Uh, bad behavior that you have to enable. Don't be an enabler. That's not helping any situation. Okay. But look at a little deeper and again, have some compassion where you can. If you see somebody out there and they're hungry, you know, um, I, I don't always advocate giving money, but bring, bring a meal. Bring something out to them, um, you know. Uh, again, if you see somebody that's cold and you got an extra coat, give them a coat. You know, do develop some compassion. Um, so many ways that we can show compassion, okay, to others. Just sometimes it's as much as just somebody that's lonely taking the time to listen to them. Okay, taking some time to spend a little time with somebody, um, trying to find out, to see from a higher perspective as to what's going on rather than sometimes making assumptions. You know, if you jump to conclusions, sometimes your assumptions and your conclusions are totally wrong. Okay, so maybe take a little time out to look at situations that maybe you've just prejudged so quickly, okay? And let's see what's really underneath of it all. Maybe we can even develop a little compassion for some of the Trumpites in our life. <laughs> I know, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, try to figure out, you know, what it is, why they are ingrained into that, you know, and have some compassion. Their, their belief system may be totally flawed, okay? And they're in for a hard fall, um, you know, in the end when they find out just what they've been involved with, okay? It's going to be a real shake up to some people's belief systems that have thought that that Trump, for example, 
is a great businessman. When they find out and he's, it's revealed that he's a failed person all over from, from his whole life, and they haven't done a background thing of it. They believe the spin that he's this great businessman. Okay. And then when they find out he's a totally flawed, uh, you know, low self-esteem person that is a uh, basic psychopathic, uh, <laughs> you know, He's flawed. He's flawed. Okay. I'm sure that he never did anything right in his father's eyes. Okay. He's never, and so he's tried to overcompensate for everything because he cannot hear. He's got to have people, remember, he's got to have people around. Spicer said every day he had to give him a 20-page book of things about how fabulous he is. Now, that's somebody that's really flawed, okay? And you've got to have a little compassion for that. Um, doesn't mean that we excuse his actions. He's really put the country in jeopardy, okay? But as a human being, you know, Lord have, like... <laughs> Like Teresa Prentice, Johnny says, Lord, have all the mercy. <laughs> or they say in the South, bless his little heart. You know? <laughs> okay. Again, doesn't mean you accept their misdeeds, their things. We need to get him out of here. But as a person, you know, have a little compassion because he is so flawed. And he is miserable you in within himself you know he's in turmoil every day he's in turmoil his mind is spinning and he doesn't know what direction to go okay so again this is the time that we have an opportunity to see with more eyes of compassion look at things from a higher perspective so that in your own life you can gain some strength and this is a lucky time to put this in your world okay <clears throat> so i'd like to hear from those that are listening to this you know if you've taken the time out for some compassion and what you find, okay? Always interesting to see what comes up from these talks, if it's if somebody's actually getting something from it or not, and if they've acted on it or not, okay? So um, <clears throat> I hope this has aided somebody somewhere in, in some way. So thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone is having a, a great holiday. Um, or surviving the holidays sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> sometimes the holidays are, you know, and again, if you if you know somebody that's lost someone in the holidays, you know, um, and they're not always joyful um, because they have remembrance of losing someone during the holiday season. Now, I didn't know that one of my daughter's friends, brothers, I think it was a brother that got killed during the holiday season. So the holidays for her is not a happy time. So, you know, not everyone has to be happy, 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 happy. Uh, you know, if you've lost somebody, uh, it, it can be a, a difficult time for some people. Uh, again, and just uh, take that into consideration. Um, not everybody is in the same space. <clears throat> you know, uh, again, uh, don't prejudge things always. 
uh, take some time out to maybe reflect a little bit and uh, see where that leads you. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in. Always good to have new subscribers and those that are hanging around. Again, if you enjoy this channel, you can always give a small donation. You know, send me a cup of coffee, okay? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so have a great season, and I'll see you online. Thanks for being here and sharing. Aho!